I'm Doug, owner of Electric Bike Solutions, LLC, and right now we're going to talk about the display. If you've chosen the $100 upgrade for a pedal assist, there's a number of features and functions on the display that I'm going to cover with you. Now we're going to talk about our pedal assist display, which actually does a lot more than just the pedal assist feature. So let's get started by this unit here. It's got a power button in the middle, up and down arrows. So to turn this on, we need to hold that. Now once it's on, we can see our display. However, it's a little bit dark here for our video. So let's brighten that up, which you can do at night when you're riding this. Hold the top arrow button down. There we go. Now we can see it much better. If you look all the way to the left here, you'll see this is the assist levels. There's five levels, including level zero. We can toggle back and forth between which level we want, each in approximately 20% increments as to the automatic assist we're going to get when we're pedaling. We can also put it in level zero when we don't want to use it at all. You still have a throttle at all times to override whatever level you're in, whether it's zero or five, you can override by using the throttle to get up a hill quickly or just take a break. In addition to that, the display also includes miles per hour. It gives you the watts, so that's how much juice you're drawing from your battery and your system. It gives you ambient temperature, gives you distance, and total time. Now these two items, the distance and the total time, those can be reset. So it works just like if you want to, just like a trip meter. However, on the next screen, there's three screens. This is the first and the main one. But the next screen, you can see it's got an ABS there that gives you average speed that you've been going. But in this particular case, the miles and the total time, that never changes other than to continue growing. It gives you the complete mileage and the complete time on your kit system since you've been using it. So it doesn't work as a trip meter, it's more like the odometer in your vehicle. Again, you still got the watts, temperature, and then the next screen is also a very helpful one. There's just three screens, this is the third and final one. The third screen, everything else is basically the same except your speed, it tells you what your max speed may have been on your trip. But this is an important one because it gives you battery voltage. So here you see we have 53.6 volts. You also get a rough indication of the battery level by that battery display. But this is a good one to check as you're going on your ride because with our 48 volt systems, they're actually set up for 52 nominal and they will start out fully charged 56 or 57 even under a load and then it gradually goes down to you get into the low 40s before it cuts off so as you're getting into the mid 40s under a slight load you can look at this voltage level and go oh okay I'm getting pretty close to the end I need to be thinking about a recharge and the final feature we're going to talk about here it doesn't have any miles or time on it yet but if we want to reset the odometer the way that we do that is we hold both buttons down after the system has been on for at least 15 seconds, you want to hold them both down until both of those begin to flash. Once they are flashing, you push the center and it resets it back to zero. It's very important to wait that 15 seconds, otherwise you could end up in the programming mode. It's already been programmed, so we don't want you to go in there and change anything. Other than that, that pretty much covers all the basics.